how do you prevent you know so, some of the amazing reactors that you're designing? H how do you prevent from destroying all of human civilization in the process? <laughs> what, what's it's the like, safety protocols? Fusion is um, interesting because it's not really directly weaponizable. Because what what I mean by that is that you have you have to work very hard to make these yes. conditions at which you can get energy gain from from fusion. Um, and uh, this means that the, the w when we design these d devices with respect to application in the energy field, is that they, you know, you, they're, while 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 they will pr because they're producing large amounts of power and they will have hot things inside of them. Mm -hmm. This means that they have a, a, like a level of industrial hazard, which is very similar to like you would have like in a chemical processing plant or mm -hmm. anything like that. And any kind of energy plant actually has these as well too. But the underlying under underneath it core technology like can't be directly used uh, in in a nefarious way because of the power that's being emitted. It just basically well, if you try to do those things, typically it just stops working. So the safety concerns have to do with just regular things that uh, like equipment malfunctioning. Uh, melting of equipment, like all, all this kind of stuff that, yeah. that has nothing to do with fusion necessarily. Yeah. I mean, usually what we worry about is the viability because in the end we build pretty complex objects to realize these requirements. And so what we try really hard to do is like not damage those components, which, but those are things which are internal to the, to the fusion device. And, and it's, it, this is not something that you would, um, uh, consider about like it would, uh, as you say, destroy human civilization because that release of energy is just inherently limited because of the fusion process. So it doesn't say that there's zero. So you asked about the other feature of it, that it's safe. So it is, the process itself is intrinsically safe, but because it's a complex technology, you still have to take into account uh, consideration aspects of the safety. So it produces ionizing radiation instantaneously. So you have to take care of this, which means that you shield it. You think of like your dental x-rays or, or treatments for cancer and things like this. We, we always shield ourselves from this. So we get the beneficial effects, but we minimize the harmful effects of those. So there, there, are, there are those aspects of it as well too.